Are you looking for a way to simplify your life while also saving money? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're diving into eight things I quit that not only transformed my life by clearing my mind and reducing stress, but also helped with my savings. Over the years, I've found that letting go of certain habits and items has had a profound impact on my well being and my wallet. Less clutter, whether physical or mental, opens the door to clearer thinking, more intentional living, and greater financial freedom. Let's get started. The first thing I quit was comparing myself to others. It's easy to get caught up in comparing your daily life to others' highlight reels, especially with constant social media exposure. Instead of comparing, use others as inspiration. Observe what they're doing that leads to their success and learn from their journey. This mindset shift not only helps you build momentum, but can also save you money in the long run. By focusing on genuine inspiration rather than feeling pressured to keep up with others, you avoid unnecessary spending on trends or lifestyle upgrades. It's a more productive and cost-effective way to make progress. The second thing I quit was over-decorating. By simplifying your space and cutting down on excessive decor, you create a minimalist environment that's easier to maintain and more calming. When your space is cluttered, it can make it harder to focus and relax. A minimalist design reduces these stressors by creating a more serene and organized environment. Additionally, it can save you money in the long run. By focusing on a few well-chosen pieces rather than constantly adding new decorations, you avoid unnecessary spending and the cycle of replacing or updating items. Simplifying your space helps eliminate mental and physical clutter, leading to a more peaceful and cost-effective living situation. The third thing I let go of was focusing on things outside of my control. It's easy to tie our happiness to external factors like seeking validation from others or waiting for specific events. This often means we depend on things beyond our influence for our emotional well-being. By shifting your focus to what you can control, even small aspects, you can feel more empowered and less stressed. This approach not only improves your mental clarity, but can also save you money. When you're not seeking validation or relying on external events for happiness, you're less likely to spend on things to fill that void. Embracing personal responsibility and focusing on your own actions can lead to greater satisfaction and financial savings. The fourth thing I let go of was overorganizing. It's easy to get caught up in complex systems like color coding everything or using excessive storage containers, which can often be more confusing than helpful. Instead, focusing on a simpler, more practical approach to organization can make your space more functional and less stressful. This reduces mental clutter and saves money by avoiding unnecessary storage solutions. By sticking with what's truly useful, you manage and maintain fewer items, leading to a more efficient space and a more manageable budget. The fifth thing I let go of was negative self-talk. It's amazing how much potential you have, even if you're not there yet. The journey starts with the stories you tell yourself and the positive actions you take. By overcoming self-doubt and setting strategic plans for your goals, you unlock your true potential. This shift not only helps you grow, but can also save you money. When you stop holding yourself back, you invest more wisely in your goals and avoid spending on things that don't support your progress. Embrace this positive change and watch how it transforms both your life and your finances. The sixth thing I let go of was being around people, places, and things that drain my energy. Energy is contagious, so if you're surrounded by negativity, it's easy to feel weighed down. Conversely, being around positive influences can lift your spirits and motivate you. It's important to focus on environments and relationships that uplift you and align with your goals. Take a moment to list the things that energize you versus those that deplete you. If you find that you're spending more time on things that drain you, Consider ways to reduce that time and increase your focus on what brings you joy and motivation. This shift can make a significant difference in your overall well-being and happiness. 
The seventh thing I let go of was seeing time constraints as obstacles. Instead, I think of them as helpful filters that guide me toward what truly matters. Leonard Bernstein once said, to achieve great things, two things are needed, a plan and not quite enough time. This quote is a powerful reminder that time limits can actually sharpen our focus, helping us prioritize the essential and eliminate the unnecessary. Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by time constraints, use them to identify tasks that can be eliminated or delegated. By honing in on what's most important, you'll not only create more free time but also save money in the process. Efficient time management often leads to smarter decisions, reducing unnecessary expenses, and allowing you to invest more wisely in your priorities. This shift can transform you from being merely busy to becoming genuinely productive, both in your actions and your spending. The eighth thing I quit was the endless pursuit of perfection. While aiming for flawless results can be admirable, it often leads to unnecessary stress and resource strain. Instead, focus on achieving good enough where appropriate. This allows for greater efficiency and a more balanced perspective. This approach not only reduces stress, but can also lead to cost savings. By moving away from perfectionism, you avoid the expenses associated with endless revisions or upgrades. For example, spending excessive time and money to perfect a project can diminish its overall value. Embracing a high-quality, good-enough outcome enables you to complete tasks more swiftly and economically. Optimizing both your time and budget while still achieving commendable results. Keep in mind, this is a journey, not a one-time event. As you start to reduce or eliminate these eight things from your life, you'll create more space for joy, freedom, and fulfillment. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep thriving.